a smooth ride. Duke is one of the oldest engines on the island of Sodor. He's a dark brown color and has a small coal tender at the back. Duke is also known as one of the smoothest engines on the Scarlowy Railway. Duke had been working at the stone quarry all summer. The narrow gauge controller, Mr. Percival, was happy to see him back. I've got a special for you, Mr. Percival told Duke. I want you to collect some freight cars of apples. You must pull them very carefully or the apples will bruise. Yes, sir, chuffed Duke. And off he chuffed. At the orchard, Duke was coupled to the trucks. He pulled them away very carefully. He pulled them around the lake. Across the stone bridge. And he started to puff up a hill. Then there was trouble. His pistons popped. His traction rods rattled, and his boiler bubbled and bounced. Duke couldn't go on. Peter Sam puffed up behind him. He was worried. Why have you stopped, Grandpuff? he asked. I have a problem, wished Duke sadly. It happens when I go up hills. I start to rattle and rock, and then I have to stop. Peter Sam felt sorry for his friend. Could you help me up the hill? said Duke. Of course I can, peeped Peter Sam. And he pushed Duke and the trucks of apples all the way up the hill. When Duke arrived at the station, Mr. Percival was very pleased with him. There's not one bruise on those apples, said Mr. Percival. What a smooth engine you are. Duke was happy that Mr. Percival was pleased with him, so he forgot to tell the thing controller about his problem. Now I've got another special for you, said Mr. Percival. I want you to collect sheep from the farm. Yes, sir chuffed Duke, but he was worried. When Duke arrived at the farm, the farmer was waiting for him. Be careful, said the farmer. Sheep need a smooth ride. Yes, sir, said Duke, and he puffed away. But soon, Duke came to another hill. His pistons popped, his traction rods rattled, and his boiler bubbled and bounced. Duke shuddered to a stop. This time, Sir Handel came behind him. Duke told him all about his problem. Sir Handel was happy to help. With Sir Handel's help, Duke delivered the sheep safely to their new field. When Duke arrived back at the transfer yards, Mr. Percival and Mrs. Percival were waiting for him. Mr. Percival was very pleased with Duke's work. Now he had a surprise special for him. Today is my wife's birthday, said Mr. Percival. You are to take us to the top of Coldy Fell for a picnic. Yes, sir, said Duke, but he knew that the track of Coldy Fell was very steep. Duke was more worried than ever. Duke chuffed towards Coldy Fell. The track was even steeper than he remembered. I can do it! I can do it! To the top! To the top! He chuffed. Then there was trouble. His pistons popped and his traction rods rattled. 
inside the passenger car, the picnic bathroom burst open, and Mr. Percival and his wife were juddered and shuddered. Duke shuddered to a stop. Mr. Percival was worried for his engine. You're a fine engine, Duke. But you're no longer a smooth engine, he said. I'm afraid I'll have to send you back to the quarry. That's the safest place for you. Please, sir, I can be a smooth engine. I only shudder and shake when I go uphill, said Duke. Mr. Percival listened carefully. I see. Please don't send me back to the stone quarry. Mr. Percival made a telephone call. He looked very serious. Later, Duke was brought back to the junction by Mighty Mac. Duke was very worried. He was sure Mr. Percival was going to send him back to the quarry. Duke arrived back at the transfer yards. He saw Sir Handel. Hello, Grandpuff, said Sir Handel. I have asked an engineer from Hatcham Ironworks to come and fix you, said Mr. Percival. You are a special engine and you need special repairs. Duke beamed from buffer to buffer. He had never felt happier. Duke was soon fixed, and now he can chuff cheerfully up Coldy Fell. The children in his passenger coaches cheered. Duke gave the smoothest ride of all.